Hello, I'm Entrelysium, and we're back in Space Engineers. You may be like, wait, we've seen this map save thing before. I've seen that Enterprise and that Enterprise. We, we destroyed that one and we flew that one. Why are we back here? Well, I was actually wondering when we were playing it the other time, I was like, wait, the, the shuttle that we left in the shuttle bay, I think it just fell out and we ran it over because it doesn't accept ship gravity. So I was wondering... Are they going to actually do anything about that? So, like, make you able to have, like, carriers and ships? Well, you see our, our little shuttle here. If we go to the landing gear now, and we put some on the bottom, you'll be like, well, we've had landing gear since the first one. That's wh What are you trying to do? Ah, but they've made a change. Last, uh, last update, they changed it so that landing gears are now amazing. Because they are magnetic, which allows you to stick to big ships and stuff. So let's just put a few on. I think we're just going to put like four on, because why not? Just put the last one on. There we go. And let's get in. We. We. Right, so let's just jump straight into the bridge. Um, I can't actually be bothered going in the r normal proper way because I'll probably get lost again for half an hour. So we'll just land here. And I'll show you what's new. Watch the clamps now. Yellow! Uh, we're trying to get both of them yellow. Uh, there we go, both of them are yellow. Yellow means that they can be activated. And then we hit P. And then P activates them. They are now locked to the ship. Now, let's now uh, dig our way in because, you know, I'm lazy. So, uh, just uh, dig through here. There we go. And I'm into the bridge. You know, that's much, much easier. They should put windows in all the spaceships. Right, now watch the shuttle. Let's move! And it's attached to us. We can move and the shuttle stay attached to us. It's really cool. But, you know, carrying fighting stuff is, you know, it's it's cool. It's cool. Carrying shuttles and fighters is fun, but I had a bit more of an immediate use in mind. What if we could get them to carry, say, projectiles? Like kinetic projectiles. That we attach to our ship, and then we fly, and then we release them. So they carry our speed and then hit the target and blow up. So right, let's just build one here. I'm I'm just going for a very simple design for this. This is basically going to be a ship to carry them, and then we're going to fire loads at the Enterprise. Um, basically, I'm making it big enough just to have like the four big ass large reactors in the middle, and then just cover them with hull, uh, and then make it like too thick at the front. So we can actually get some, you know, protection in case we bump into something on the way. Uh, put some windows in. I was putting gyroscopes in there and I was like, actually, we could put engines in there to go up and down. It's like, no, we'll put engines on the side because it, A, it looks better and B, we can get more of them. We probably need more. Um, so we've got six engines going left, right, up and down each. And then put gyroscopes in between. That's 12 gyroscopes outside. And I think I left some inside just because I didn't, like, remove them or whatever. I can't remember if I did. And then we put some big-ass engines on the side. So we've got like eight big ass engines firing, you know, forwards and well, throwing us forwards, and then four retarding our motion forwards for when we want to be able to stop, let our projectiles fly past me. So try it out here, and we're actually using like only like what, like 30% of our power or something. So we can actually put more engines on. So you know, might as well put more engines on. So I just chucked a crap load of engines on just so we could get enough speed up and then stop or whatever, and then put some, uh, you know, reverse thrusters on because we need to not hit the thing we're firing our projectiles at. Skip ahead. These are our projectiles. There's four different them, all different colours. Uh, the top one, the blue one, actually has like a little nose on the front, and the bottom one has like a cambered nose. They're all otherwise, apart from like the sight change to the front, they're all seven by four by four. But yeah, we're ready to go. We're done. We have all our four projectiles. Now we've just got to line ourselves up with the Enterprise and fire. We look like some sort of weird Rubik's cube of death. 
So, you know, that's 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 an interesting uh, ship design, you know. Yeah, I wasn't going for fitness, I wanted to test out the theory. This is like a science craft. It's made for doing its purpose, not really bothering about much else. But yeah, anyway, uh, since we're on our little, you know, journey, uh, I'm just going to mention that the map wasn't made by me at all. It's actually available on the Steam Workshop. I'll put a link down below in the description. It's uh, The craft on here are amazing. Um, the NX-01 is still in, like, development, but the original Series Enterprise is, like, amazing. So let's get ourselves some speed up. Uh, shall we? I think we're ready. I think we should yeah, let's say it first, actually, because that way uh, we can always just give it another go. Let's give it a try. Power up and go! I think we just ran over our shuttle. <laughs> um, whoops. I kind of like that shuttle. Uh, we've we now reached maximum velocity. So let's release the payload. And let's uh, inertial dampeners ourselves. Ourselves? 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 Ourselves. Jetpack's going in. They're going to hit. Oh, the green one's spinning a bit. It's a bit weird. I think it must have... Yeah, it was the shuttle got caught on it or something. And it uh, slowed down when released. Oh, that ruins the height. Here we go. They're impacting. Oh! The green one bounced a little bit before it hit the target, but uh, that was that was cool. Uh, the holes are okay. They're not they're not as awesome as I wanted, but they're they're not bad. They show that we can be like the the point, but I was I was kind of hoping for better. And they do go all the way through the saucer section, but uh, let's let's try again. Let's load it up and let's try it again. We can, you know, aim somewhere different or whatever. Um, load. There we go. Oh crap! There was the auto save, wasn't there? Ah. Oh. oh well. Bye bye, cruel world. Um, are we still? Yep, we're still alive. The bridge is intact, but we have no power. Um, jump quick to the asteroid. Ooh, bits of asteroid popped off. That's cool. Um, we've made a rather impressive hole. It's sparking and stuff. Uh, no, we didn't destroy the bridge. I was like, did we destroy the bridge? No. It's it's just about alive. The holes in the projectiles are pretty cool. I like them. They, they, they go nicely through, but... I don't know. I was hoping for a bit more. But then again, I yeah, I think I just like got the... I completely forgot how big the Enterprise is compared to like our 4x4x7 four by four by projectiles. Maybe next time we should the projectile should be like longer. That way that it, its momentum, its weight follows it through further. All right, let's have a look at the NX-01. Oh, bye-bye part of attack shuttle. Uh, well, not shuttle, it's like ship thing. But anyway, it's floating off in the distance. Let's have a look at inside the NX-01. It's still in development, um, according to the guy who made the uh, the save and the ships. Uh, so I don't know exactly know how in development it is. Let's look. Let's try and find... No, there's no way to get in there. Um, oh, well, let's dig our way in. Uh, I have no idea how we're meant to get in, so, you know, just... Ripping a hole in the hull is an acceptable method. That's that's not that's not a deck. That's that's an engine. That's that's a jar. Oh no, is that a corridor? Yeah, corridor. We found a corridor. There we go. We are now inside the NX01 Enterprise. Let's get on the ladder. Climb up. The I, I'm 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 not a massive fan of the ladder climbing and the jetpacks. They're a little bit slow. They need to be like tweaked up, maybe like twenty five percent, fifty percent. Okay, let's get off. Um, oh, it is the bridge. I was like a bit worried for a second. There we go. Hello, bridge. We're now in control of the Enterprise. I'm Captain Archer. This Enterprise. Right, cool. Yeah, Captain Archer. All right, let's... You know, last time, the big Enterprise killed the small Enterprise quite horrifically. So, why don't we let it get its revenge? Even the score. 
that's back. It, you can tell it's in development. It just goes back so slowly. I think that's what the guy actually said that he wanted to. He was still in developing about it. The fact that it goes back so very slowly. The reverse is just like abominable on this. Yeah, inertial dampeners turning them off is actually kind of fun. Back to Newtonian physics. But okay, right. Let's accelerate forwards. Yeah. Uh, it goes forwards quite nicely, actually. The reverse is the reverse is crap. Forwards is nice. Uh, right. Let's try and take off one of the nacelles. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Nope, nope. Careful of the bridge. We don't want to screw the bridge. Ah! Ooh. I think we're still alive in the bridge. We've ripped a whole chunk out the front. That, uh, that pylon was fairly damaging. Oh, look. The nacelles flying for itself. That's cool. Um, Wow. Well, that's how, oh, that's how close we came. Look, my my actual like, command console is inside a bulkhead. Um, we came pretty close to being squished there. Okay, but uh, you know, at least we managed to you know take a nacelle off. Very turning slow, slow turning. We need more gyroscopes in this thing as well. Uh, very slow turn, very slow. Uh, this this might take a while, guys. Yeah! Right, let's go in. We're going to try and knock off the source section this time. It means try and hit it like between the hull and the source section. Ah, crap. That always ruins like, the atmosphere. Alright, come on, come on, come on. No! We clipped the nacelle. God damn it. Uh, oh, that's where it's close. Uh, reverse! Sideways. Damn it! That kind of spoiled our attack run. That that was that wasn't as like fun. That made me sad. Oh, taking out the source section would have been so cool. Okay, let's, let's have another attack run on the source section. This time we'll come in from the side where there isn't a nacelle now. We'll take on its weak spots. Yeah, so it just means a lot more turning. 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 Right, right. We're finished turning. Right, when we hit this, I want to try and, like, dip down a bit so that I can adjust how high up we're going. Because if we come in from the top, we might clip the sort of section. So if we're coming from underneath, we can always then adjust our inclination at the last minute. So I think we might be going a bit high. So adjusting down and then... There we go. There we go. And... Yeah! Oh, no, too low. Oh, crap. Gone pretty far in. Um, what's going on? We're really deep in, and like the source section's tipped over and taking out. Oh, we took out the uh, their their um, what's it called? Deflector dish. We took out the deflector dish. That's really cool. What are we clipping? But no, no, wait, no, we are disintegrating things. Um. Oh wait, no, no, we have crashed. We have crashed. Whoops. Anyway. I've been Andrew Lithium, and we've been looking at the magnetic clamps in Space Engineers, which are awesome. Stay shiny, everybody.